I actually got on skis from the age of three and then when I was five I got a snowboard for Christmas and I just kept going like every week. My whole family were really keen snowboarders. They went to the local dry slope in Halifax. When I got to about 13, 14, I got noticed by the British team. So then I just started like traveling internationally and it's got me to where I am now. I started snowboarding seven years old, Halifax Ski and Snowboard Centre. Went there pretty much most nights after school. Those days were like some of the best days I've ever had snowboarding. And I mean, it's not even on snow. I went through my whole childhood and I didn't really know how good I was. It's mad, to be honest. I just went because it kept me out of trouble in school and it was just real positive. I was lucky and obviously fortunate enough to have a place like that just really close to my home. I was six years old and my parents took me and my sister Molly up to a ski slope in Sheffield. Just fell in love with it. My dad actually works in the BT Tower. From where he worked, he could see the ski slope, so he wanted us to have a hobby as a family. At Sheffield Ski Lodge, where I learned, was a 15-minute drive. It was like the best thing ever. When I was 16, I became the first girl in the world to land a backside double cock 1080. No other girl had done it, and only guys had done it before. Like the first time I did it, I went to my face. I did like two and a half, and then I landed it, and that was like the best feeling in the world. Everyone was saying they never expected a girl to do a double cock and they didn't think we were capable, so I was kind of glad that I proved them wrong. It was really nice to like inspire so many other people and so many other girls. All the girls that I was like looking up to because I was only 16 at the time, they were like saying how crazy it was and that I was like pushing women snowboarding and that was really nice to feel like I was pushing the sport in a really positive way. Definitely the dry slopes in Yorkshire have produced some good snowboarders and skiers, 100%. And I think that's down to the fact that there was some good scenes back in the days and they're all the kids that have come up through this and now obviously going to the Olympics. I mean, being from Sheffield, I mean, it's something I'm super proud of. We had such a good ski scene when I was growing up there and a lot of us are going to go to the Olympics together. Four people off the ski team from Sheffield, which is pretty cool. It is actually a really like friendly atmosphere in snowboarding which is completely different to other sports. I remember talking to people before and they found it really strange that like I was good friends with the people I compete against from other countries. It's just like normal that like, everyone's friends and gets along and it is like a lifestyle as well. We've got a good team like it's definitely not as serious as some of the other teams are which is a really nice thing because it's quite chilled. We do get the job done, we do our stuff, everyone works hard on what they're doing and everyone's kind of got their own little plans though, which is really nice because it is a team, but everyone's individual. It's not like a football team. We're obviously trying to be the best we can be individually. It is like the best thing in the world. It's like a dream come true to be like a professional snowboarder. Like I'm really loving it. I've always dreamt of going to the Olympics. I can like hopefully bring back a medal and I feel confident with my riding and in myself that I can do that. I want to get into the finals. I mean, I came seventh in Sochi. So I want to try and do better than that. I mean, if I'm happy with my skiing and I come away thinking, oh, I've had fun and I've loved that moment, because I don't want to come away thinking, oh, I've hated it or whatever. I just want to have fun and be happy with my skiing. It'd be the icing on the cake to get an Olympic medal but in any competitions I just try and put my best run I can do on that day and try and be creative and my own person. I've always tried to do that, just try to be different, that's kind of my little aim in life. I want to snowboard for as long as I can. I definitely feel like this is just the start of my career. I'd love to bring back an Olympic medal as well to tick off with the bucket list. I am really bad for like getting nervous at competitions but I just turn that adrenaline into something positive. The jumps are pretty big. It feels amazing. It's basically like you fly in off a giant house, but <laughs> in the snow. As soon as I'm in the air, everything's fine. 